This is a lair built by hatchers. What a headache. Inner seems to be in a more dangerous situation than I thought. Maybe it's the same in other caves. This must be one of the places which the Grey Space Entities come from. This group of Grey Space Entities is hiding in a blind spot where their signals can't be detected. Not only that, the patrol droids nearby haven't sent any warnings to Inners either. Or they may have, but the warnings were cut off by the interference, just like the detection signals. You mean that there are Disguisers and Inners participating in the conspiracy? We need more clues before we can reach a conclusion. Yes, we'd better do some research first. Go to Miss Wan Ling to learn more detailed information about these patrol droids first. What could we do with these gray space eggs? Destroy them now? It's unclear exactly how many gray space entities are hidden here right now. It's best not to do anything rash. Then let's go back to Inners for now. Miss Wanling, we found traces of gray space entity activity in the waters around Inners. The nearby waters? Perhaps you've discovered a blind spot in our daily inspections. Could you please provide the detailed location data? The lair of the gray space entities is inside the Marzoid Ore Cave in the waters around Inners. Isn't that under the patrol droid supervision? We never received any relevant feedback. Because of this, we want to confirm the specific patrol and defense details of Inners. I'll check the relevant records. Don't leak this confidential information to unrelated persons. I've got it, and we'll look into it right away. Ahem. <clears throat> Madame Fiona told me earlier that I must fully cooperate with both of you. I'll tell you everything you want to know. Since this is Madame Fiona's order, I'll fully cooperate. Mr. Lucius, a captain of the security force, is in charge of deploying patrol forces in the waters around Inners. In addition to performing routine inspections of the waters around Inners, the patrol droids will repeatedly survey some key areas based on the feedback from the Mook Squad. Lucius adjusts the patrol droids' inspection route every week according to the Mook Squad's findings. Only he, myself, and Madame Fiona know the specific arrangements. However, He's been on sick leave for the past two weeks, so Roy and I have taken the duty of arranging the routes. We completed the handover not long ago. Basically, the inspection route is in line with Mr. Lucius's arrangement, so there shouldn't be any mistakes. <sighs> Where did things go wrong? I understand. Thank you. Space entities avoid the patrols of droids and the Mook Squad. 
We'll go ask Icarus and the others. Mr. Icarus, we want to learn more about the Mook Squad patrol plan. Can you explain it to us? Yes, and we can discuss other relevant developments. Our patrol plan usually focuses on searching the areas where Grayspace entities are active based on their signals, unless Archon Fiona has other things in mind. The activity of Grayspace entities is usually illogical. We can only expand the scope of our investigation as much as possible and try not to miss any suspicious locations. Shira will focus on areas where she hasn't set up any detectors. She usually acts independently. But... Annie has made some unexpected discoveries recently. It's like this. I wasn't able to catch many Grayspace entities in the few days that the Captain was away. They seem to be hiding from me. Ugh. I keep coming away empty-handed. I'm so angry! Are the Grayspace entities avoiding any? Melania, what do you think? When I was patrolling with Miss Annie, it was really, yes, a strange phenomenon. It's like they were trying to lure me away on purpose, and they all scattered when I was about to catch up to them. Ugh, they better hope I don't get my hands on them! Um... Melania proposed that we should launch separate attacks, so we gave it a try. But I don't know if the result of this experiment means anything. Well, when I patrolled alone, the Grayspace entities seemed to have lost the target they were focusing on. Come on, am I really the one that scared away all those Grayspace entities? Yeah. We heard Archon Fiona say something about how Grayspace Entity behavior has been more purposeful recently. Is there something special about Annie that the Grayspace Entities have noticed? Or is it... Annie, do you remember who performed the modifications on you when we came to Inars? I think that's a technician from the security force. What's her name again? It's... Nara. What's up? You mean when... Hmm. Could it have something to do with Annie's previous upgrades? Hmm? So what? Annie seemed to have gained many new capabilities after that upgrade, allowing her to receive Grayspace Entity signals more accurately. Is it possible that the Grayspace Entities are using this against us? Does it have positioning features or something? That's possible. But Miss Nara didn't mention this when she explained things to us. Did she just forget? Or is there another reason? We'll need to ask her about the specific details. Yes, we'll get to the bottom of this. Glenn just left, and now we have two fresh faces. Let me... <sighs> mm, I'm so tired. <sighs> Work has been so busy. I see. This technical work is tough on the mind. One word from Director Glenn, and I have to work overtime for several days. Dr. Glenn? Shouldn't it be Mr. Lucius? That talented tech department head came here to oversee the work. <sighs> Didn't he just come up with a way to improve the patrol droids? Now he has a bunch of new ideas for our information receiving system. It's easy for him to give the order. We have to work overtime for many days. What's the matter? I don't have much free time because he's about to verify the functions personally. I heard you were responsible for tuning and upgrading any from the Mook Squad? Mook Squad? Oh, I was the one who handled that. That girl is quite interesting. 
That combat chip that she equipped is amazing. It's probably some of my best work. Seriously, it's so... Sorry for interrupting you. You also gave her a positioning feature, right? Hmm? Was there such a thing? I'm not too sure then. We just improved and upgraded the systems according to Director Glenn's instructions. Hmm... Maybe my clearance level is too low to know that she was given GPS features. Yes, that must be it. What? Is there something wrong with this function now? Jeez... The more troublesome the integration function, the easier it is for something to go wrong. If only I knew... Uh, no, everything is fine. We're just making sure. <sighs> so long as there's no problems. Can we check the location information of the MOOC squad from here? I'm afraid that won't work. You see, I don't know anything about it. This must be classified information that only those designated by Archon Fiona can see. Can you tell me about the improvements made to the patrol droids in more detail? I can't disclose the specific technical details. In short, with the strict quality control of our talented head, you don't have to worry about these patrol droids. <clears throat> well, Archon Fiona is planning on testing the performances of a random batch of patrol droids. Huh? Is this an urgent request from Archon Fiona? Then I'll deal with this first and send the report later. That should be all for now, right? I'll get busy then. We found many clues, but we don't seem to have enough to identify a specific candidate. Let's share what we have with Archon Fiona first. Computer? Shirley, you're here. We were just discussing the situation of Domain 9 with Miss Lon. Seems that you've also brought lots of important intel. Archon Fiona, we found a hatcher lair in the Marzoid Ore Cave in the waters around Inners. Hatcher? Is it a type of grace space entity that has catalytic abilities? Sure enough, they're here on Vera too. I remember that place as a blind spot in the detection of grace space entity signals. We specially arranged patrol droids to conduct daily inspections there. But based on the current situation, Inners hasn't received any warning about them. Could someone have hidden the warning messages? In addition, we've also found other unusual behavior related to Grayspace entities. The Mook Squad told us that some Grayspace entities seem to be deliberately attracting their attention to make them change their patrol route. They would lure the Mook Squad to a suspicious location and leave before they arrived, often making any go there for nothing. This undoubtedly reduces the search efficiency by a lot. But it sounds like the Grey Space entities could keep track of the whereabouts of the Mook Squad. Yes, we suspect that this may be related to the positioning system on any. Huh? Are you saying this is a very serious accusation? Given that not many people know about this. Harkon Fiona! I've got something extremely important to report. <sighs> the behavioral logic of the patrol droids you commanded was modified. They they now see all gray space entities as harmless sea creatures. I understand. Recall all the patrol droids now and correct all the errors in their behavioral logic. Yes, Lieutenant Roy is already working on this. I'll go and help him now. It's time for everyone to discuss this together. Looks like you already have an answer. Glenn, has there been any progress in the analysis of the abnormal signals Ms. Shiro found? Harkon Fiona, you don't need to worry about that. It's just something caused by the normal activities of marine creatures. I don't think we should waste our effort on meaningless research. Oh? The abnormal signals have nothing to do with the Grey Space Entity's activity? Do you have any evidence of that? This... Uh, 
Their activities just happen to coincide with those of Grayspace entities. Or did you mistake the activity of Grayspace entities for the activity of normal creatures? After all, I just learned that the behavioral logic of the patrol droids has been maliciously tampered with, leading them to identify Grayspace entities as marine creatures. Lucius, what do you think? What? I didn't know anything about this. When did it? It must be a hacker. Maybe someone with ulterior motives hacked into the droid's management intranet. I'll investigate this matter thoroughly now. That's right. Maybe I... It was my... The situation is so tense that any loophole may become a fatal weakness. Lynn told me earlier that they found a type of gray space entity called Disguiser, which has the ability to parasitize humans. The host will become the puppet of the gray space entities. Maybe it was this Disguiser who secretly destroyed the defenses of Inners. Puppet... of the gray space entities? I got it! I figured it out! You've intentionally overwritten the patrol droid's judgment on gray space entities by tampering with their behavioral logic! As a result, they wouldn't find any enemies no matter how many times they patrolled the hazardous areas. During the two weeks when you were sick, your evil plan could still be carried out covertly even if we took over your work. No. You actually are pretending to be sick. If anyone traces it back to you, that sick leave would be your best excuse. Lori. Roy, you're being reckless. We've been blinded by the facade. That's exactly what the Disguisers want. It was my mistake. What is Glenn's condition? Will the Disguiser have any adverse effects on him? He should wake up soon, but he still needs to be isolated and observed for a period of time. Okay. Wanling, please take care of him. The previous reports of the patrol droids are completely meaningless now. We need to conduct new investigations on what's really going on in that area. Okay. Leave this to us. The hatcher. Be careful, everyone! Are the great 
the entities heading for the abyss turret? It's very likely. It's still lying, even though we already have people stationed there to keep guard. After we take care of these gray space entities, we should head back to the abyss current to bolster their defenses. Entities are heading for a deeper ocean. No. There could be more than one of this kind. We have to hurry back to Inners. Gray space entities are gathering at the bottom of the sea. We speculate that there's an abyss current opened up by the Hive Mother there. It may be difficult for our current forces to fight against such a huge number of gray space entities. That's why we're here. There is serious threat to Vera and the safety of Domain 9. If we can defeat those things, we will alleviate the crisis faced by Domain 9. At the same time, we will gain a deeper understanding of Grey Space Entity's behavioral motives. They can't be allowed to make waves on the seafloor. That would put Inners in great danger. We can help you stop them! Mm. Lucius, adjust Inners' defense plan. Concentrate our forces inside the city of Inners, and ensure that the residents are safe at all costs. Roy, you'll take over Glenn's duties for the time being. We need to quickly restore communications with Mororia to inform Archon Larson of the crisis faced by Inners as soon as possible. Wan Ling now has the highest authority in Inners for now. I'll leave Inners in your hands. Madam Fiona! Let's go, Lin. Gray space entities dispersed after we tracked them here. Although I really want to wipe them out, let's focus our combat strength on a worthier place for now. Can Shirley detect the gray space entity signals of abyssins? If it's possible to detect the existence of abyssins, 
it might be possible to locate where abyss currents are. It's possible. Let me try it out. Hmm. The signal is very weak. Huh? Found it. Why does it seem like there are two different signals? It should be very difficult for reinforcements to reach even deeper into the Grand Sea. These gray space entities have left us with no way out. Our only option is to destroy them to protect the residents of Inners, Maroria, and even all of Ida. No matter how difficult the battles are. No matter what lies ahead. We must fight. We can only fight until this storm ends. I'm honored to fight side by side with you.